sometimes the gen is easy to come on the generator sound is not smooth after some time it looks like the generator is gasping for breath it's struggling to get fuel to work and after some time the gen goes off sometimes the gen does not come on at all so on today's class we are doing just a simple task we are going to teach you guys how to change a carburetor hey guys welcome to benko institute of technical studies your small engine repair channel i am gideon your technician on today's class we are looking at a small portable generator um tg950 generator popularly called i better pass my neighbor in this part of the world okay we got this generator from a client okay the these are the complaints of the client the client said sometimes the gen is easy to come on that means when you pull it you can pull two three times and the gen is on and after some time the gen goes off and it makes a fluctuating sound before it goes off another complaint of this is this sometimes the gen does not come on at all no matter what you do no matter how you pull the generator it doesn't just come on and when it doesn't come on he do notice that there's fuel under the gen okay as a non-technician he feels there is fuel under the gen but for us we feel the carburetor overflows you get fuel gets into the carburetor and comes out even while the gen while it's not supposed to happen you get so what are we going to do oh let me just put on the generator so you have an idea what we're talking about although i did drain out the fuel from the carburetor before putting this on the table so that the gen will be easy to start okay but i will put on the generator just to give you guys an idea of what our client has complained about okay all right we just put on the generator and it came on why because before putting the generator on this table where we need to shoot this video i had to drain out the foil so i had to put it on but if you notice carefully you would observe that the generator sound fluctuates it doesn't have smooth running it fluctuates i'm not okay i put it on again so if you didn't listen the last time you can do that now. All right, the generator sound is not smooth. And what this means is, after some time, it looks like the generator is gasping for breath. It's struggling to get fuel to work. And that means after some time, the generator can go off or it fluctuates even further, you get. So on today's class, we are doing just a simple task. We are going to teach you guys how to change a carburetor, okay? Like I said earlier, the complaints were this. The generator is difficult to start the generator um, gives out fuel from the bottom here from the bottom of the carburetor and the generator sometimes come on and fluctuates okay without further ado let's lose the tank and delve straight into um, replacing the carburetor you'll be wondering why am i replacing the carburetor all the complaints of our clients tend towards the carburetor the carburetor throws away fuel and what have you all the complaints tend towards a carburetor we are trying to make this video as short as possible as short as possible okay Okay, this is the carburetor housing for this generator this is the carburetor housing don't forget that when you take off your boats and not as the case may be put them in a safe place so okay when i lose the tank after losing the tank, if you look very well, this is the carburetor. Okay, this is the carburetor. 
all right that's the carburetor so you see it properly and this is me losing it out it is it is connected to the other part of the generator via two bolts for technicians what would they do they will go out rightly to servicing this generator uh, this carburetor rather you service the carburetor properly the carburetor can still be functional but for a non-technician what do you do you just replace immediately why are we replacing because it's quite cheap it's not as expensive as okay if we are to convert this to dollar it's about four dollars there about and this is 1400 in nigerian currency in naira so this is a brand new a brand new carburetor it came with the, the gasket came with the gasket and with a hose all right it came with the gasket and the hose what do we do we install the hose first install the hose first make sure you clip this properly okay make sure you clip this properly and then this is another point where you have to be very very um, careful okay i want the camera to be so close okay this is the governor okay this is a spring it's called the carburetor spring the carburetor spring is connected to the carburetor this is where it's quite difficult if you do not have an idea before now but because of this class i'm going to explain it bit by bit now how do you install this carburetor okay you do it this way the spring goes in first then the rod itself goes in okay now you've done this you've inserted it you've connected the spring and the carburetor together okay what do you do next remember we took off these two bolts we put them back Okay, after putting back what next we okay um we'll still tighten we we'll tighten the two bolts tighten the two bolts make them fitted in properly okay what next bring our tank and then we connect the foil tap to the hose And then we let uh, enough foil go in before we kick start. While we are waiting for a foil to go in, let's couple this as well. This is the housing. Couple the housing properly. And then We'll couple the tank before putting on the generator.
and then of course we kick start all right that is it we've successfully um, installed a brand new carburetor okay just a recap we got an info from our client that the particular generator sometimes refused to come on starting is difficult sometimes after it comes on um, the generator fluctuates and eventually goes off sometimes before coming on there is always fuel at the bottom of the generator from the carburetor here and of course knowing fully well that the only reason for fuel to come out from this particular um, generator from this part of the generator is when the carburetor is faulty or perhaps when the hose is bad we check the hose and we discover the hose is very 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 okay and of course we have to change a carburetor all right so that is it from us from today's class if you haven't subscribed please do well to subscribe to this beautiful channel where we post content as regards small uh, generators please do well to share this link to friends and family and as well drop your comments below in the comment section to meet in our next class it's goodbye from us take care